Hey guys, hi, my name is Mame Mems Knight and today's video is a hair talk video. I moved to the UK in June for work and from Lagos, Nigeria. I was scared initially because I felt, oh, I'm moving to a new country. What would the weather do to my hair? You know, how would I be able to um, cope? There was that fear finding that the things that I used to do to my hair back in Nigeria is pretty much the same things that I do now and um, there are certain rules that I live by and that's what keeps me sane on this natural hair journey um, and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. I find that I'm wearing my hair out less here. I used to wear my hair out a lot more back in Lagos than I'm wearing it here. So I probably have had my hair out like this for just a week just because I'm finding that I have less time for my hair now. Um, the the ha half, first half of the year um, of this year I was working for myself so I had more time. I was doing a lot of consultation and um, I started homeschooling so I would wear my hair out for like months but now I'm finding that I don't have that kind of time I don't know why that is I just have less time for it I don't care too much about it than I used to I guess then I felt like okay if you're going to wear your hair natural you have to prove that you can style it you can still look good whereas here it's not a big deal you know especially with my line of work like we're working with children nobody has time to be looking at your hair and how nice you look everybody just gets on with it so i have less time for it i just do it style protective style and go for like two three for me the two major areas that um i focus on i'm not very finicky about my hair the two major things that i make sure i deal with is dryness and length so as long as my hair is growing i'm fine and as long as my hair is not dry i'm fine I'm still maintaining my regular routine, so I would wash my hair once a week or every other week. Um, but there are certain things, like I said at the beginning, there are certain things that I do or that I remind myself or that I keep at the back of my mind. The first one is to sleep with a satin scarf or a satin pillowcase. At the time, I was like, this satin thing, does it really work? Does it really matter? I'm not sleeping with a satin scarf. And I woke up the next morning with seriously dry hair. So it does matter. A satin, cover your hair. So that's one thing I'm doing. Number two is I moisturize my hair as soon as I feel it getting dry. You know, I tried to, like today, I, I washed yesterday, moisturized yesterday. So I haven't put any product in my hair today, but I probably will tomorrow. So I moisturize my hair as often as I feel the hair needs it. I don't have like a schedule. Once I feel it, I just moisturize if I feel like it needs moisture. The third thing is I wash only when I'm in the mood because I find that when I wash my hair when I'm not in the mood, I don't take as much care of it as I would if I washed it when I was in the mood for it. And I end up having dry hair, you know. So when I'm in the mood, I wash my hair. And at the end of the day, when I feel the hair, I know that I really took time with it. But when I'm not in the mood, it feel, you can sense it when you feel the hair. So I make sure I wash my hair when I'm in the mood. And the last thing is to be content to be content. I watch so many YouTube videos of different people with different natural hair. At first, I was trying to look for someone that had the exact same texture as mine so that I could follow whatever they do, do whatever they do. But I realized that it's a personal struggle. Everything in life is a personal struggle. I have felt so many natural people's hair. I have watched so many videos and I haven't seen anyone with the exact same texture as my hair. And so I had to figure out what to do to mine. You know, I had to figure it out by myself. I had to feel it. I had to look for products. I had to create my own routine that would work for me that is specifically designed for my type of hair because there's certain people on YouTube that would do a style and I would try the style with the exact same products and have horrible results. You know, so I just try to do whatever works for me. I try to work with what I've got, create my own, and just, you know, make it happen. So I'm learning to be content with mine. My styles won't come out like somebody else's styles. You know, my hair won't look like somebody else's hair. So just be content and work with what you have got. Some days are good, some days you have bad hair days, you have good hair days, but I'm sure relaxed people will tell you the exact same thing. People that wear their hair in dreads will tell you the exact same thing. People with straight hair will tell you the exact same thing. It's just how 
it is you know some days are great some days are not so great some days you're feeling your style some days you're not you know but at the end of the day it's just about being content it's just about confidence and it's just about being happy so I just wanted to share with you guys this hair update um, thank you so much for watching and I'll probably have my hair in this twist out for another week and then I will crochet it and maybe I'll do a hair tutorial I doubt I'll do a hair tutorial, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.